a bit of pepper. Hmm. We are going to get fish. Togolese uh, food. So come with us. So these are fresh, these are fresh tilapia that they will bring it from their harbor then store it here. So it's still fresh. It's not like I just so I just it's still fresh. So we are taking this one. Yeah. Okay. So these are the red snappers that you see. Mm, we have red, red, fin. Uh, red fin. Red fish. This is red snapper. Mm. Red fish. I think these are uh, croaker or oh. cassava fish. Cassava. Oh, yeah. okay. This one looks nicer. <laughs> this is, yeah, the cassava fish looks ah, nicer. <laughs> So this is 4,550. Yeah. 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 It is bigger. Mm -hmm. The bigger one. I, I, I told you that one is very nice. This one is not nice, but it's too big. <laughs> Guys, this is 4,000. Hey, I'll be back. 4,550. So, this is. They're scrapping the weather on that big one, 5,000. Hey, the big star. No, everything. With your camera. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. So, no, 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 Two hundred. Oh, okay. So they pay for the scrap. In Ghana, you don't pay. In Ghana. We don't pay. Yeah, no, 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 Oh, okay. Wow, 100, 1,000, Maybe at the store, I think they will yes. take money when they prepare it for you. Uh, yeah, I am always a Tema. A Tema? I also go to a Tema shoe. Okay. I live uh, sometimes in Mexico hotels. Okay. I know. You know Ghana small. I'm an international judge and referee in box. I used to come there to refer. Okay. I need to part of it. Oh, I see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Because you can't eat your chocolate already. So you're leaving lemon to wash the fish to take away the Please, you know what the name for me. I remember the fish is smell. The fish is smell. So we are using the lemon to remove the fishy smell. Yes, in your name, there's a fishy smell. Mm, okay. Okay, you don't have to do one. So we are going to start with our sifio and we are going to use coconut oil. You can use any oil of your choice. So there you have your coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your bunemi. Your bunemi. Your bunemi. Coconut is called your bunemi. Uh, your bunemi. Okay. Coconut is called a ne. What is your bunemi? I'm uh, oil. 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 Okay, your bunemi. Uh, your bunemi. Your bunemi. Uh, your bunemi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. So I was asking, is um, coconut oil uh, very common in Togo? Yeah, coconut oil is quite common in Togo. Almost everywhere. A lot of people do eat coconut oil in Togo. So we are adding tomato puree. Tomato paste. Fresh tomato puree. So they are blended tomato and then. So we are adding a spice to taste. So it's just coconut oil and to make that it's filled. So we are going to add in pepper paste. Salt to taste. You're adding your salt to taste. Now we are going to marinate the fish that we are going to be using for our seafood. She just added in. Onion, blended onion, ginger, garlic. 
then spread it around the fish like this. So you add in water in the sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. A thick sauce kind of things. Taste for salt and spices. The salt is small, so she's going to add in a little bit. A little bit. You always have to taste your salt. Nessa Oba. You drop the fish in the sauce like this. Okay. So, oh, okay. So you don't add in like onion and other stuff. It's just a tomato puree. You can. Mm. You can add onion and other stuff. Okay. So her onion and other stuff. They are in the fish. In the fish. Okay. So, so guys, as you saw, she used um, she you, we saw like she used just the tomato puree in the coconut oil, okay. So it's her pepper, onion, and garlic and ginger was rubbed on the fish. So instead of make doing that style, you can also add it before in the stew before then you marinate the fish and then add it in. Wednesday. Oh, it's boiling. Sunday. It's boiling. Okay. 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 <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> it's hot. Okay. Hot, hot. Eh, it's a show. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, it's a fast show. Hmm. I just taste the tomato puree and the fish, the, 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 the spiciness. It's not that spicy. In between, yeah. So, what are we going to use this for? For Sifio. Sifio. The Sifio is known for the Togolese people from Agodra for Aneho, Togoville, seasiders, and then people who live around the lakes. Is uh, also um, another version of the Gan Aklo. You know, when you go to the Gan towns in Ghana, they do Aklo, which is like a steamed fish with um, gari. Mm. They sometimes eat it with um, kinky. Okay. So this is the Togolese version. Here we use tomatoes mm -hmm. and then we use coconut oil. You can decide to use palm oil. You mm -hmm. can decide to use a uh, normal vegetable. vegetable oil to cook it. In Benin, mm -hmm. they call it dakwe or dako. Okay. And they like to use um, palm oil to make this. Oh, okay. So here you call it sifio. Sifio or it's pinot. Pinot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is in, to, in I went to Volta region and they called it Pinot. Pino, yeah. yeah. Okay. But the Aneho people, they like to add twists and things to their names. So they call it Sifio. Okay. So, so what's the Sifio is like uh, um, they they just use small water to cook it, like 
just to to say that a uh, sifio. Okay, the water just the water uh -huh. boy. The water boy sifio. Like immediately, the water boy. You just use it. Okay. To show the freshness of the fish. Oh. That's why we didn't buy frozen fish. We got fresh fish from the sea to do it. Okay. You can use any type of uh, fish that doesn't easily break. You can use tilapia. You can use a red snapper. You can use a crocker. Any type of fish you like, depending on the the your taste for fish. Okay. So let me ask this. Mm -hmm. Another fight. What's, <laughs> what's the difference between pino and gariba? <laughs> Mm. Uh, <laughs> it's the same thing. It's, you know, this fight, I personally mm. don't get it. To me, it's the same thing because it's hot water poured on Gary. Yo. Or Eba, Gariba, mm. Pinot. Mm. It's hot water poured on, on Gary. It's the same thing. It's just the names that differ. But hey, <laughs> I, I did a video where I said this food is called. Gariba because where I went to buy it, the woman was calling it Gariba. I posted the video and people came at me that it's not called Gariba, it's called Pinot. Pino. Hey, I, it was my first time hearing of Pinot. It's not Gariba, it's Pinot. It's not this, it's this. So right now you're telling me it's, it's the, the same. same. It's just um, each and every one with their language. You can't say um, I have the best pronunciation for it. My language is different from yours. Inga, they say sabulai. Mm -hmm. Here in Togo, they say sabre. Mm. Do you get it? So you can see that yours. They say sabala. Uh -huh, or sabala. sabala. It's the same onion. This is a lebe gari. Mm -hmm. This is the more common gari you see mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. We have different types of gari. We have a neho gari. Mm -hmm. A neho people also do gari. This is smoother. Unlike, unlike this that has big um, lumps, big mm -hmm. lumps kind of seeds in it. Mm -hmm. That one doesn't have lumps, it's smooth. And you have a gue gali. Hey. Mm. Yes. You call it gali? Yeah, we, we don't call gari, we say gali. <laughs> this one too, they came to fight with me. <laughs> that we don't say galiba. We say gariba. Some people say we don't say gariba. <laughs> we say galiba. Hey! Pronunciation. <laughs> you have a gue gari. Same with the cassava around the same. Same way the salt that grew the cassava is in the same. It does not give the same taste. Um, the people that did it had different knowledge, they had different background, so it would never be it the will same. Never be the same. So, you should leave the balloon. So, when you are done, you have to remove the fish. Yes. Oh, okay. Because it's cool. Uh -huh. Like that is set. This one is set. So right now we are going to add the garlic. No, you add more water. <laughs> more water. To the stock. Because the stock over there is a bit concentrated. Okay. So then that boils. Mm -hmm. Then you pour it on your garlic. On your garlic, then you are done. It, sh it shouldn't be too much. Or can we all eat everything? Mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. This is shabo shabo food. It's very fast. Very yeah. not uh, this one we are done, but we will not mix it with the garlic now. It will be hard. So we are going to add in water because it's a little bit thicker. We want it lighter. Mm -hmm. And then allow it to boil. Later, use it for our gari. So add in salt to taste because we have we have added water. Okay. So we are starting with the gari for the sikil. Just pouring the gari. Then she'll spice the gari a bit. Some onions to give it flavor. If you love onion. Just adding a bit of oil. The coconut oil. And the coconut oil. And 
a bit of water to make it soft and some more. Spice for flavor. And a bit of water to make it very soft. to taste to see whether the salt, the spices and everything are supplementary. If not, she will add more. If there is any more to use to, she will make here. So you add more salt. So instead of adding the salt to the soup, she is adding it to the garlic. some of the stock on the gari and then mix it that's the sifio and pino mm. or gariba mm -hmm. hey, this food can we eat all too much we shall see ah you have people who eat mm. a lot of people oh see i hear yeah don't eat that much <laughs> We just test that. Yes, yes, then I'm done. So this is our sifio. So guys, our seafood and fish is ready, and now we are going to taste it. It goes with this fish and then some pepper for those who want pepper. So we are going to taste it. So this is also called um, pino mm. or gariba, anyhow you want to call it. But here in Togo we call it seafood. So guys, we are going to taste it. I want to try this one. This is a mix of gari and then um, this the sauce from this fish. And gari is a staple food in Ghana. Is it also a staple food here? Yeah? Yeah. Mm, made from cassava. Mm. You can taste the, the sauce, the fish, so well. Oh, this is not the normal ever. Mm -mm. It tastes good, it tastes good. I can do it a mm -hmm. bit of this, a bit of this. Okay. A bit of this, a bit of pepper. Mm. Mm. Put the fish. I should put the fish here. Mm. Eh? It's different. Mm, 
This fish tastes good. You know, the day, you know, it's a lot of money. Salmon. Your boy. Everything is to lap and salmon. Mmm. You like Thank this, you. your food there? Eh? Is yeah. it your favorite? Which one is your favorite? <laughs> I really don't. I don't have a favorite. So far, I just eat the bowl at the company. Mmm. Mmm. And I love the fact that you can get some onions to chew mm. in the gari. Mmm. Great. <laughs> I think I'm a mess. <laughs> Not bad. Mm. <laughs> so, guys, thanks for watching this video. This is another food from Togo, a Togolese food. And hope you love it. Like, comment, share. Let me know what you think about Togo. And then until next time. Cha cha. Bye. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>